Hello everybody, this is part three and I thought I'd um, start off with showing you how I stain my seam binding because that's why I buy a pale one because I tend to then be able to stain it the colour I want you know and I will work with it sometimes it doesn't work out and then I, I'll, I'll just add something else so what I do, what I want is quite a sort of grungy, grungy one for this journal so I, what I do first is I thought about this one. I haven't used this one before, but I'll just put a bit of that on. That is, sorry, aged mahogany. And I'll wet it down. I'll also wet the seam binding down as well because it stops it being too absorbent. also goes in there better so I'll just yeah so that one's actually what's that aged mahogany yes I find that a little bit too um pale really yeah it's not too bad but I shall build on that I'll just wipe this up a minute there we go let's have a bit of Fire brick. Let's see what that's like. This is the distress one because I haven't got haven't got many colours in the new distress inks yet. So I don't have to wet this down again, but actually it's very similar, just a tiny bit more depth to it there. Right, so okay, that well that's fine, but I want it even dingier. So to get that result, I actually use vintage photo now that's without the knot preferably <laughs> can you believe that how could you not that yes I can do it all right let's have a look <laughs> okay I need to dry it a little bit that'll be all right Good for your hands. <laughs> now you can see why I've always got grubby hands, can't you? <laughs> right, and now, if you look at that colour now, it's almost quite rusty, and I think that'll go. I know it's got to dry, but I, know, I won't put that on there, but that will blend in quite nicely with that. Yep. So, what I do now is I'll crinkle it up like so, just all crinkled up and then I'll put one of these on and I'll leave it to dry and then got a nice bit of crinkled seam binding put them in the window so they dry quicker right so that's the start of it so now I'll just tidy up a minute and then we'll get on to the journal right I've been through my little box and just to see what we can use because um, the, colour, the way the colour scheme is going so I haven't got much green actually, So, but I thought these were quite nice. They, they are a bit bright because of white, but I thought I'm going to dampen them down and put a little bit of tea stain on them and then they'll be okay to use. So no idea where I got these. Oh, well, here we go. It works. Ages ago, I think. And then I found all these little bits. This, this is, um, you know, Tim Holtz cards which I've gessoed and now I've done some stencil over the top with some texture paste and I thought I'd try and do something with that because that fits nicely inside the front pocket here so we've got to you know I'll blend that in to make it go with the journal but I think that could that could look quite nice in there so that was that I found what else did I find um, I found this that was already done, so that's quite handy. Some tags that I've done, stamped and tea stained up. A few of the journaling cards, that's a, like a sticker thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, I see, that's got sticker stuff on the back there. There, I've got some of these. I've got two sheets of that. Oh, there's the other one. 
and that. So that's in the colour scheme. Um, this little pocket made out of uh, book pages or a dictionary. dictionary. So that will be all right. This goes with a little tag here. Again, it's a bit bright, so that will need toning down, which we can do that. Yeah, we've got some tags, a bit of green in that, so some more I've just stamped up and then tea stained and mod podged. So I'll do something with those. That's some, this bit of paper was in there, which I thought were coordinated lovely. Torn off tag. <laughs> we'll do something with it. Yeah, so these again, these are all a bit bright, so they have to be toned down. Those colours are fine. This nice gold leaf, which I use on some pages. And that's all the other bits and pieces that I've picked out. Some flower that needs cutting round. I like these. <laughs> oh, some leaves, some more leaves. That's a decoupage. That's from a napkin, that one. Some more of these. No idea what that is. But little pocket here, butterfly pocket. So that's a die cut I've got that I must have done ages ago and made it up and not used it. Some little tags there. Do something with it. So um, got some naturist things along here that can we can use up. And that's all bits of tags. These, a lot of these are from my printables. So, oh, I've got these. I know I actually designed this on the um, Scan and Cut ages ago for journals. And I've actually decoupaged some napkins on them. So I use them. It's got some purples in it. But again, you see purples in autumn journals. So I don't know why the journals turned, in out, turned out autumn, but it has. So anyway, we shall um, carry on with that today. Okay. Oh, and the seam binding is nice and dry now as well. So that's the colour it's turned out. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And then this was um, something I got that I used. Oh, I tell you what I'd done with those was the roses. The for the other for the covers. Yeah, those cream roses that I made, and I just ripped it in half. Well, I cut it in half. And then I tea stained that as well, not tea stained, and it's exactly the same process as I did for the seam binding. So it's slightly different colour, cover, colour, but there we go. Well, but the same tone, so which is fine. So we shall utilise that as well. Still a tiny bit damp, so I'll just leave that in the window to dry. Okay, well, right. You can watch me tone these down and see if it works. All right. So what I suggest is those need dampening down, and so do these. Okay, and always start off with your lightest colour because you can always add colour, but it's harder to take it away. So I'll give them a bit of a spray, maybe on there as well, and definitely this. Again, as you know, this is tea, this one. That's that one there. So it's quite light. I'll try and add a bit of water. I don't use these. I'll, I'll take these off anyway, so it doesn't worry me. See, so yeah, that's taken up quite nicely. Um, that should... Just be enough to be honest. Yeah, that will be. Alright, so that's what it was like. There, and that's what it's now, so it's perfect. Let's get some water on that there. I don't want to put too much water on this pad because it'll I actually got a re I could have used that. Oh, that 
wasn't too bad, was it? I actually add um, tea stain and that to varnish as well, which can give an age effect. Don't know whether any of you have done that, but that's, that works quite well. Just a little tiny, you know, when you do your um, Mod Podge and you want to age something, I add just a tiny bit of the Distress ink, you know, from the reinkers, just a tiny bit, mix it up until it sort of it looks aged, and then apply that over your project and you've got an instant age look i mean there is stuff out there on the market that you can buy but i never have so right oops a bit of tissue in there so here we go that should dull that all down oh got a card here as well but that we can always do with it tea stain anyway so there we go do that and then I'm going to spray it with water so. I like playing like this <laughs> you can see I have fun can't you <laughs> that's why I like mi mixed media Right, okay, that that will be fine. That will tone all that down. Oh, I missed one. So, just okay. That will be right. There we go. So we'll leave those to dry, and we'll come back to those on a later date. There we go. Right. What I thought I would do here is to show you how I prepare my um you know things that are left over to in and make them into tags and things so all i do is get some um gesso white gesso and paint it over basically that's all i do and then leave it to dry and just build it up a few layers and then we can actually like um file some off and file the edges and things like that i mean i literally this is all i do and I'll do the backs as well. Okay, another messy job I like doing. Okay. Dries quite quick too. Some of the actual craft card ones, you don't need to do this. These are shiny, you see, so. I quite like it if it's not perfect. I do quite a few, about two layers, I think. I don't worry about the first layer, whereas normally I'll do the fronts and then all the backs, but first layer, it doesn't matter, just to get a bit of a base, really. So the things will stick to it. So that's what I do first off. I'll just do those other two ones. Is, this is, I don't, um, got this from the scrap store. So I actually really like this. Um, it's really nice back there. So I won't, I'm not going to touch any of those there, but I am um, just get rid of some of this and then cut something out of it. utilizing all those things that just get thrown away yeah, I don't know what date was on it actually I'm just gonna I actually like this but I have no idea where it come from so we have to be sort of careful with things like that so, but it is, you know, something, this design, could somebody could have painted it. So, you know, I don't know its history. So it's always best to cover it up, really. But 
I like the design on that, so it's shining through a bit, so that will be fine. Like I, say, I like those too, but I'm leaving those as they are, just, just a little bit. I leave all this sort of texture thing I leave as well, so I like all that, because I put um, dimensional paste on after do this one just use that one haven't I all right all right let's do the bottom here I'll, I'll do it all actually yeah. I get covered in it but I don't mind I love mixed media too but I'm just not very good at it I think I'm not, but other people seem to think I am, but I don't think so. But anyway, here we go. If you wonder where I'm going, I've got plastic sheets in at the back of me, and I um, put everything on that. Okay. Right. I thought we would um, add one of these stickers under this flap here to brighten up this page here because you know I'm going to put photographs on that one and then this normally people would most probably journal on this bit but I'm not going to so I'm going to have that I want it to stick out of the side so. and again I would Go around it a bit, very gently, and I'll do a bit of stenciling through this bit too, I think, make it part of the page, so that, yeah, that's nice, I'll just get my stencils in the nap, make sure it's the right way up. <laughs> And just stencil a bit here, I think, and on the other side. I'm a very random stenciler, very random. <laughs> uh, I think I have a leaf coming down. Get it. I keep things towards the outside because I think then it draws draws the eye inward rather than falling off the page and things like that. So now I get carried away now, so <laughs> definitely a bit down here. in so to coordinate I will transfer this design over here so but very very lightly just in case you need to to write on this bit which is nice line writing um, lined paper so if I was going to write anywhere it has to be lined because otherwise my writing goes downhill I'm best putting it on different pieces of paper and then sticking it in myself if I just don't like my handwriting. I used to do a lot of calligraphy and things like that years ago, but I just can't, can't do it. Okay, so that's how that's finished now. I found one of these words, little little sayings, which I thought would be very, very nice by that leaf there. So I'm going to use one of those. I think I like that. Yeah. I'm 
can't really see it until you open the page. So there's some like a little surprise. Right, I've gone back to the page where I said I was going to put some photos, where I've decided that most probably that's not something I would do because of, of I just make the journals. I don't actually journal. I like to look at them and like to own them, but um, I just will we'll do something else. So what I'm going to do is you're going to pretend these these are photographs. which I thought they would look nice, I think that way. Um, something like that with a leaf on, and then I'll back them in the, some of this. And then I've got a little quote here, whereas that could be your writing. Uh, I've got another leaf here, the greeny one to bring the green in from there. It's that and some of this. So what I'm gonna do first is to stencil the page, and then I shall um, cover those. Where is my stencil? There you go. So I'm just going to stencil, stencil very lightly in the background. If you need a bit more ink. Because some of it will show, but of course some of it is going to be behind the photographs. Hope my head didn't get in the way then. Right, so let's stick these together. Do what I normally do. They're already inked up, so that's okay. whether you hear the seagulls or not because I'm not conscious of them at all I suppose because I've lived here for so long I don't even hear them I sometimes hear them if I play back my if I have enough courage to play back my videos and watch them I sometimes hear them let's trim that down I use all this don't ever chuck that away that can um, that can come go with little clusters and things like that that you do. That was too much. By doing this, sometimes it makes you do clusters and things like that because you think I'm not going to waste that. make something with that in a later date. Right then, I don't want to lose my bits. I'll sort it out. So I'll do that on one side. Sort of there, I think. And then that one just a bit lower. Leaf in. Just maybe I'll just go that way. That's it. Just kind of put that along there a bit. Okay, and then we're going to use the middle for this one. That's perfect. Oh, I don't know what my husband's doing. <laughs> We're clearing out the sheds and all sorts. Oh my gosh, we've had so much stuff for sale. I think the um, think my husband's now Del Boy. <laughs> Sorry, if you're British, you'll know who Del Boy is. So we've all heard of him, but I'm not sure. I'm sure you do. You have heard of him because it's very, very famous program only fools and horses that's what it was called there you go this is 
a bit of a layout process, isn't it? I used to do a bit of scrapbooking too when the kids were little. I've done that. But not very, not very much. I love the way scrapbooking is now. I, I think it's really, really good. Oh, I've got to put the sticker leaf down first, haven't we? It's come such a long way. All the papers that you can get. Oh, just so envious of all the people in America. These beautiful papers that they can get. I'll go that way just to make sure it doesn't flick off the page there. Make sure we're not upside down. Do we need a bit of glue under there? Some of the tips as well. It's quite a thick card, that one. And put that one down a bit more. And under there as well. Okay, then we sort out where this is going to go. You've been a bit stubborn, I think. Oh, I hear them now, look. It's like they've nicked somebody's ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, they do, they literally scoop down and take it, I can't, I can't it's so funny, when you see it, oh it's not very nice for the person, but, but when you're watching it, you think, oh my god, they literally take, you know, people eat fish and chips out there, and they take the whole, whole pieces of fish, <laughs> off of their dinner, and you think, oh my god, I think it's about right, hopefully it's about right. Let me glue this bit then. <laughs> I have to go out there one day and do a video. But in the height of the summer, I might catch one taking somebody's fish and chips. <laughs> or And ice creams. But it's awful if it's a kid. Because they can't do much about it. We're adults. You flap your arms. They, they, won't get, they won't come down. Right. You. I'm going to have to put a stamp on there to well, I'd put a punch rather not a stamp there we go hold that down a bit and see what else I can do to it in a minute it looks like my battery died again so all I'd done while it was charging was um, finish off this page here and all I'd done here was used a bit of dictionary page, tiny little bit, bit of that, bit of jute string, and this wonderful stuff that my sister gave me, which is lovely, and I, and this was a top or bottom of a tag, and put some gems there. I do I do find that it's a little bit too symmetrical for me, and I don't like this both these leaves going that way. So I would most probably have preferred that not being there and then incorporated the green here. So I'll most probably add to this page at a later date to try and do something else with it. But as it stands, I'm going to leave it alone today. So this is the end of, I think it's part three now, and we shall go on with part four tomorrow. Bye for now. Thank you all very much for watching. It's been lovely. Thank you for very much for all your comments too. They've been wonderful. Thank you.